I haven't brushed my hair since I left San Antonio. I've just been using my fingers to comb it out. Lovely. I thank the Lord for hats. That's all I can say. This is where I camped last night. This is a mile 70.8. And I would have to say this is probably my favorite campsite so far. It was just so peaceful and so quiet and nice and the moon was so bright and the air was just perfect. But I just, yeah, I love these higher elevation campsites. <laughs> the wind was cooperating also, so it was just a great night. Such a pretty morning. I am getting everything packed up and I am heading up the trail towards Julian. so incredibly blessed to be out here right now having such a great time my body's cooperating for now so no complaints there and uh, I know I have a beautiful walk into Julian today so life is great a giant asparagus. I love the desert so much. It's funny how many people ask me like why I'm starting back over at Camp Row instead of at Big Bear where I left off in 2019. Uh, this. <laughs> this is definitely one of the reasons um, I've always just been in love with the desert uh, region, desert southwest. Uh, the landscape is just stunning to me, very appealing. Uh, we're going to be, well we, sorry, I'm going to be dropping down into the desert floor here fairly soon. So yeah, we're going to see hopefully some wildflowers and stuff down there. It's a drier year, so probably won't be as impressive as last time I came through here, but I'm still appreciating what there is here. There's still flowers, for sure. I'm just a little bit more thirsty this year. The breeze is just perfect. So definitely a beautiful morning for a hike into Julian. It's, uh, um, the, ter the terrain is not too bad either, so just kind of a nice mild grade up and down. Probably going to be mostly down from here on out. So uh, my knee's feeling really good. Um, when I was uh, mentioning that it was kind of, uh, I was noticing it a little bit, uh, it's been better. So thankful for that. So for now, everything's working. Man, that plant has given up all hope. definitely likes to get some last digs in. I'm literally descending down into the desert floor down there, but it'll always find a way to get some last steep climbs up in there. So I think after I go over that, it should be pretty much down from there. <laughs> we'll see when we get there.
final descent down finally and that wasn't the last of the hill but <laughs> there wasn't too much more after that so yeah the trail goes around and then you can see it uh oops sorry I can't tell I can't see the camera but I don't know if you can see the line but the trail goes way down there and it's basically just gonna drop down in to the desert there and then I'm going to hike to um, the highway that's over there mile 77 and try to hitch a ride into Julian I am by myself presently, so there's a lot of trail angels that go in back and forth there. Um, so we'll see how long it takes to get a ride in. Finally down here on fairly flat desert trail. There was still a lot of rocks um, when you hit the bottom. So I'm just so happy to have some flat grounds. My feet are kind of beat up from all the rocks. So it's nice to have this little break uh, for the rest of this hike this morning. So yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty flat down here and uh, not much in the way of wildflowers down here. Yeah, 2019 was definitely the year for, for all of that. It's pretty dry down here, but still beautiful in its own way. And I'm thankful for some flat terrain for a bit. taste of uh, what I'm gonna get when I get back on the um, other side or when I get back to Scissors Crossing to get back on the trail after Julian. There's a lot of succulents and cactus and it's really pretty on that other side. I felt like it took forever to get through that desert floor. I'm uh, getting up here close to the hitch. Let me show you what's ahead. So there's, sorry, it's really windy. There's several people in front of me. So I don't know if that's gonna hurt my chances or better my chances of getting a hitch very soon. Um, I see some people waiting along the side of the road up here. One of them's got like a bright yellow vest, so probably trail angel. Um, yeah, so we'll see, see how this goes. Wish me luck. All right, so over there continues on to Scissors Crossing. Hey guys, um, I am getting ready to head down to the area where I'm going to hitch a ride into Julian, but first we have trail magic here. Say hi. hi. Hello. So I'm having an apple and some lemon lime Gatorade. Thank you for the trail magic. Magic man. <laughs> Alright, so we're standing over here trying to get a hitch into Julian. Let's see how long this takes. So we got a ride with Professor here. Alright, first stop, Julian is mom's pie for free pie. <laughs> Alright, so I am having the apple rhubarb pie and our strawberry rhubarb pie and then vanilla ice cream and I'm just going to sit here and relax. Um, I have a bit before I can check into my hotel. Alright, so I just checked into my room here at Julian Lodge. Thought I would show you guys real quick where, I'll be, where I will be staying tonight and tomorrow night for my full zero day tomorrow uh, so yeah nice cozy little room nice and clean unfortunately I'm going to destroy it with all of my little things all over the place <laughs> so I'm just gonna put my backpack down and start uh, start doing some uh, chores that I have to do laundry have to do my resupply uh, want to work on editing some videos and getting those up for you guys so I'll be busy